so let's start uh, with the uh, new ch chapter that is hereditary and be interactive and wherever you have the doubts you will be able to get them clarified and understand uh, already uh, ramsha has done her project on variations so how are the similarities and the variations and how do these variations occur and what according to the science uh, the methodology uh you know uh, what exactly happened you know how the human being has been transformed from monkey to the human being so these are all the hereditary characteristics we are going to see it and this has not happened just an overnight you know either that how did monkey uh got into a uh, into a human being which we see the human being we see now is a uh, centuries many many years of evolutions you know the it has taken place uh, after a very long time and it was uh, very <laughs> gradual and it has got lot of changes in the environment like you know we see the change in the environment that has brought this new virus called omicron or um, uh, you know corona whatever we are calling it is all it has evolved because of various changes in the atmosphere something new keeps on erupting so similar Really, you know if you look originally dogs dogs ko dekhenge to they were wolves who were very wild and uh, you know they were attacking human beings then they were domesticated unko ghar mein laya gaya unko logon ne some rakhe de unko pal ke they showed them they made them very mild and then they made them the pets they took care of them because otherwise the wolf was wolves and human being were the enemies to each other they were killing each other so you know to do that some uh, people they started thinking ki agar if we are becoming uh you know he will show humanity to them they will also change so that is how a wolf changed into a uh into the various the uh, categories like dog cat and these pet animals so a uh, human beings we started domesticating them so this is what is uh, are we going to discuss about uh hereditary and its uh, characteristics so now uh, about this if you have got anything to discuss any uh, discuss among yourself and if you have got any doubts about it please do this share and ask me yes sasha what's your question Ma'am, what do you mean by domesticated? Domesticating is domestic is house. Unko ghar me la ke rakna. Are we not that many people who love pets? Jo unko ghar me rakte hai, take care karte. We give them food on time, make care, take care of their hygiene, cleanliness. So that is what is called domesticating them. Unko apne ghar me pet bana ke rakna as a member of your family. okay okay ma'am so there was the only doubt rest you understood yes ma'am okay then let's move back to the second part of it so we were talking about this uh, reproductive process that give rise to the new individuals you have already seen how in reproduction uh, you know during the process uh, meiotic division <laughs> takes place and how a new individual is formed and we have even seen that it's two type of uh, types of reproduction where we see there are asexual and sexual asexual may we have seen a single parent only dividing into uh, a daughter cells and growing up into a new individual uh, where which you have seen it in fragmentation in spirogyra 
and uh, there were budding and so many processes through which you know asexual reproduction was taking place but the number of successful variations are maximized by a process of sexual reproduction sexual reproduction mein what is happening is variation badh raha hai aur jitna variation badhta jayega utna the new next generation will become strong and will have a survival instinct like similarities jitne zyada rahenge utna wahan par surviving ka uh, chances kam hote jayenge variations jitne zyada rahenge that will be very good and healthy so we see lot of variations in sexual reproduction whereas asexual mein humko variations kuch bhi nahi milta they look like similar and same like the twins it becomes very difficult for you to identify who is what is the who is the parent and who is the daughter cell they are so so similar whereas in variations we find lot of whereas in sexual reproduction we see lot of variations and then if we observe a field of sugar cane we find i think i have shared the project uh, ramsha's project i'll share it into the group you can see what variation actually is and uh, if you look at the sugarcane uh, plants we see that there is a very little variation among individual plants but in any animals as well as human beings which reproduce sexually we can see a great variations okay so now do you understand what do you mean by variations can anybody explain me what is variation yes ramsha so variation means uh, differences like as everyone has the similarities between them and their family members similarities with their friends uh, siblings classmates age groups uh, so variations are like uh, differences uh, um occurs uh, in similarities like we don't uh, have all the similarities but also differences occur so those similarities as well as differences together when they are uh, together that's called like variations because not everything is similar something are also uh, different so that's what is called variation very good so variations are the differences you understood it well and others also uh, did understood what are variations so that we can uh, do you know uh, exercise on it to uh, make you understand what variations actu actually are so you can see that how it these variations are accumulated during reproduction reproduction ka time pe aisa kya hota hai jaise variations hona shuru ho jate hain you know in both the if you see inheritance from previous generations we have i have told you i told you in the variations project which ramsha has done she has collected some information of uh, from tehmur's great grandparents also to wahan se agar hum check karte jayenge to there is a subtle there is some changes every time occurring in the next generation how are those changes occurring if you look at the second generation differences you see that the, there there is a newly created difference agar yahan par if you look at the second diagram uh, there are uh, the two daughter cells you saw a one uh, which is red there is a little difference into it and then here also in the second are very minute the uh, right one and the parent is very much similar whereas the left one has got little differences and when this one got again uh, uh, reproduced into a new next generation you find some more changes into it you know and this was again giving rise to the same one and then the, the you know you find into a ratio where you find like for example a tall and a short parent are cross breed you there are a chances of having two tall or two short or one short one uh, tall uh, next generation and uh, there there are certain times you know both the parents are tall but again then also we find that one of the you know next generation may be short so from where that next generation comes it is from the great grandparents somewhere we don't know who was shot in the uh, in the previous generations so that is how the variations occur and variations are very good for a strong next generation
So you see that in whereas in asexual reproduction, uh, if you look at the bacteria, they divide and uh, they are having same similar characteristics. And that is the reason they are very short lived. They are not very strong. There would be only very minor differences between them generated due to small increases in DNA copying. Any questions here? So this is very interesting, you know. Uh, we have seen a great diversity in these uh, animals. If you look at uh, giraffe, you know, if sexual reproduction is involved, even in the greater uh, diversity with, uh, will be, you know, generated. And what sort of diversity have we seen? Again, if you observe these giraffes, can anybody tell me uh, what are you observing? Can you all see the giraffes? So type in the chat box. Don't unmute yourself. Chat in the chat box. What is the differences? Whatever the differences, un please mute yourself because there's a lot of voice disturbance. In the chat box, you post what do you see? What differences are you seeing in these giraffes? Don't post, post it in a commonly, not directly to me. Can you see any difference in these giraffes? I'll bring it more closer to you so that you can tell me that these whole giraffes are there. Do you see any difference in this? Asha says color difference. Very good. We can see that color may change. Aya hai. And any other change you could see? Uh, only you could only see the color difference. Any other difference? Apart from color difference, is there no other difference? Ma'am, pattern also, pattern. Pardon? Pattern also, ma'am, pattern also difference. Patterns are also, yes, very good. You see that the body design patterns and one important, you can just check with the sizes also and tell me where, are you finding any variation in any part of the body size variations? Can you see? Height, very good. Somebody has said height, but height of which part of the body you are seeing, which is increasing? Or decreasing? Have in his leg, ma'am. Yes, neck, neck part. You see that the neck part is of giraffe is increasing. So what exactly was happening? You know, previously when giraffes were there, there are very few giraffes and there were a lot of trees. So niche, you know, they were getting all their food but niche mil ratha. So unko neck kun kitna stretch karne ki zarurat nahi padhi thi. When the population started increasing, the, uh, whichever the giraffe goes near a tree, niche ka, you know, that uh, that giraffe was eating away. And the other giraffes, unko pohot upar, they had to reach to get their food. So they were stretching their necks. So that that's how, you know, in next evolutions, we have seen that their necks started becoming longer and longer. So that is how, depending upon the adaptability and circumstances, evolutions, we find variations into the organisms. We have said because, <laughs> and we see them only 
the organisms having sexual reproduction. So these differences has got some advantages depending upon the type of activities they are doing, different kinds of advantages we can see. If you see the bacteria that can withstand heat will survive better in heat waves also. So what are the benefits of the variations and accumulations is very important. Please note it down. And once you complete this, uh, uh, we will have. Yes, Ramsha, what's your doubt? Ma'am, uh, what does accumulation mean? Yeah. Accumulation with the jama hona. It gets accumulated. Eki jaga jama ho jata hai koi cheez. Okay. Ma'am, jo aap abhi samjhaye na, to hai na, usko zara Hindi mein samjha sakte ek baar to jaldi samajh mein aata. Wo aapki awaaz thoda gunjri bhi thi. Team star log join. Okay. ठीक है इसको ये वेरिएशंस जो आते हैं जनरली वो वेरिएशंस किस वजह से आ रहे हैं कि एडेप्टेबिलिटी uh, हमारे uh, जैसे जैसे इवॉल्व होते जा रहे ऑर्गेनिज्म हमारे पास भी जैसे व्हेन ह्यूमन बी बीइंग्स वर देयर हाउ वी टॉक अबाउट यू नो एडम एंड ईव it was a entire universe entire universe was there or usme sirf do organisms agar hai to unko they will be having lot of you know food to eat unko koi struggle karne ki zarurat hi nahi hai natural resources unke liye bahut zyada the lekin jaise jaise population badhta ja raha hai so everybody want food you just imagine ki one tree and one animal was there and one tree was there so the survival was very easy lekin jaise animals ka population badhta ja raha hai ek tree ke paas you know three animals have to survive four animals have to survive so how will we survive pehle to kya ho raha tha ki wo when they were eating the leaves giraffe is kon ka patte pe they were surviving leaf of a tree तो उनको नीचे ही उनका फूड मिल जा रहा था तो उनको कुछ स्ट्रगल करने की जरूरत नहीं पड़ रही थी सो देर नेक्स्ट साइज वॉज स्मॉल लेकिन जैसे ही इनका पॉपुलेशन बढ़ता गया तो उनको ट्री ट्री के ऊपर वाले लीव्स को भी दे नीडेड देम आल्सो फॉर सर्वाइवल सो दे स्टार्टेड स्ट्रेचिंग देर नेक्स टू रीच देर तो उनका नेक का साइज बढ़ना शुरू हो गया तो इस तरीके से वेरिएशन आते हैं यू नो हाउ आर यू गोइंग टू सर्वाइव एंड हाउ आर यू चेंजिंग लाइक वी आर थिंकिंग अबाउट यू नो अभी ये जो दुनिया में वेरिएशन आते रहेंगे तो एक ह्यूमन बींग इज इन फ्यूचर गोइंग टू लुक लाइक एन एलियन वो जो चेंजेस आएंगे बिकॉज ऑफ द एडेप्टेबिलिटी नाउ वी आर बिकमिंग मोर लाइक द रोबोट लाइक एलियंस नाउ द नेट यू नो सम हंड्रेड इयर्स बैक जैसे हमारे एनसेस्टर्स थे वी कीप ऑन से यू नो हम उस जेनरेशन में देखते हैं कि फिटनेस लेवल वॉज हाई दे यूज टू रन फ्रॉम अ लॉन्ग डिस्टेंसेस वो लोग साइकिलिंग करते थे बट वाई इज इट रेड्यूसिंग विद यू नो चेंजेस इन द एवोल्यूशन climatic conditions now you know we have got comfort levels are increasing science and technology has changed because we wanted to give you know better life for everyone so that is the reason ye changes aate rehte hain to hum bacteria mein bhi dekhe jaise ki abhi no latest one is um, if you see this virus corona करोना को क्या हुआ वेन वेन दिस करोना फॉर द फर्स्ट वेव आया वी फाउंड आउट कि इसके लिए कैसा मेडिसिन होना हाउ टू किल इट देन यू नो उसमें से थोड़े म्यूटेट होके दे बिकम वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग अभी वो मेडिसिन भी अगर आप दे रहे हैं तो देवर देवर एबल टू फाइट यू नो वैक्सीनेशन दे के वी वर ट्राइंग टू safe lives lekin wo vaccination ke usse bhi aur stronger virus aa gaya so now we have to think of going for a booster virus so that is how you know uh, usko fight karta hua this because usko bhi survival ke liye fight karna hai aur humko bhi survival ke liye fight karna hai so in this during this you know uh, battle we come uh, these organisms evolve out as some new organisms is it clear now yes ma'am it's clear now so giraffe's neck were not taller in the earlier phase yes it was not tall it was they were short necked now we see very long neck giraffes yeah yeah 
and after that there is a lion picture na so what they, the note says is just that uh, every animal has different kinds of uh, variations differences so they get different kinds of advantages, advantages than others yes because of those variations For so example it, like cheetah can run faster so it may can also hunt faster than any animal and for lion um, i don't know what advantage it has like it has a strong roar which can make others scared i also read in a book from your library that uh, male lions do not hunt female lions do hunt male lions just scare others away when they are young before they get a female lion they just hunt but after they get a female they don't hunt females get the hunted animal to them hunted food yeah they bring it to them there are, there are so many you know they have a life span itna age tak maybe they will be very active after that you know uh, they become you know like we human being also you can see that at young age how you can work hard it keeps reducing with the age okay so lion uh, male lions are not much strong when they after a life uh, after a limit but still it is not at all considered to be safe when we are around a male lion still it's not safe for us right yes it's not safe and at the same time if you see the life span life span of a cheetah and lion lions have got a long though maybe they are not they don't run so fast like cheetahs but uh, their life span is greater when compared to cheetahs ma'am uh, what is the life span of cheetahs life span of cheetahs i uh, i think it has to be for uh, their survival is for 30 to 40 years as far as i think not more than that average weight of cheetahs is uh, 75 kg right uh, average weight yes must be uh, yeah. average life span of cheetah is also uh, of cheetah yeah. let me check i have to check i'm not exactly sure about what is it okay so and this third one says bacteria that can withstand heat like which can be It's remain 12 years also. only not more than 12 years cheetah's life span is only 12 years okay okay mm. um, there is lion is more lion is definitely more than cheetah i think yeah yeah it is it is 15 uh, years I, yeah like lifespan is also more than tiger's lifespan yes so the everybody every uh, you know organisms has got its own they have got their own lifestyle and uh, has got their own uh, this thing um what do you say adaptabilities and advantages of their body structure and the lifestyles so every organism has got their own and loin uh, yeah as mustafa says loin has got strong muscles very good so their you know the way they behave they act has got their own advantages and disadvantages okay so now uh, what are the benefits of uh, accumulation and variations so please note down this and okay, okay. Uh, let me know how if you have got any a uh, difficulty in understanding i can explain you in hindi also or uh, you know if you have understood it's very good i'll ask you few questions